Hey friends, welcome back to Vincent GD's Super Channel G. And look how incredible these Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem action figures look. We got all of these single packs open. The entire collection, I'm sure they'll release another wave. But for now, depending on when you're watching this, these are all the ones they've released so far. And of course, I do know that there's other ones like this, but this is not a single pack, technically. We do have this one, we're gonna be opening, and many others, so, uh, including the sewer layer and vehicle and so on, but we're gonna get these open. You're not gonna wanna miss this. This is was such a great time. So, let's go ahead and dive on in. But before we get started, guys, if you've not already subscribed to our channel, please hit the subscribe button below. Hit the notification bell next to it so you can notified every time a new, new video come up. Talk to us in the comments, we'd love to hear from you. Let us know what you think of these brand new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem action figures. Give us a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and like TMNT Mutant Mayhem. And share this video with anybody you think would enjoy it. So what do you say we go ahead and get started? Right now. Folks, this video was brought to you by Vince. Stay tuned. <laughs> Friends, now let's go ahead and finally dive in to these incredible Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem action figures. Let's get them all open. Let's see just how cool they are. And plus, we have the new Mega Mutant that we got at Walmart just recently. Look at that. Only at Walmart. And these also include the making of a ninja, uh, Target exclusive, the Young Turtles right here. So, let's see who we have here. And we will get going shortly, but oop, I'm a little uneven here, a little discombobulated. All right, so first we have Raphael, the angry one, Got him right here. Leonardo, the leader. Michelangelo, the entertainer. Donatello, the brains. Master Splinter, Master Sensei. We have Leatherhead, Raging Cajun Gator. Bebop, Jacked Up Warthog. We have Rocksteady, Mutant Muscle. And Superfly, Fly Guy. Now, that makes all of these, all of these, and we have these bonus Turtle Tots, Raph and Mikey. That's cute. Look at that. <laughs> and we also have these Turtle Tots, Leo and Donnie. Look at those glasses. <laughs> Look at those eyes. That's cool. So, all in all, we'll end up with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 action figures. Plus 14 for the Mega Mutant. Look at this. Isn't that crazy? Look how ginormous this is. There we are. Man, that looks crazy. And, well, of course, we're going to be opening all the, oops, the special two-packs and um, the sewer, the vehicle. I'm, like, trying not to drop everything. And so that's going to be a lot of fun. Um, that'll be in the next one. We'll put them all together because, of course, just want to give you a glimpse. Of course, we have, ah, Turtles in Disguise Party Pack. 
course, the making of a ninja, which includes these that glow in the dark. And so, uh, and then as a reminder, you have to check this one out, which it's kind of the same with these five. One, two, three, four, five. But it has April O'Neil, and it has this version of Bebop. All right, so let me go ahead and set everything aside. And we're going to jump on in in a moment. So let's get all set up right here. And let's, let's have a blast. Let's kick this off. All right, friends, let's kick this off with the very first action figure. Leonardo the leader and we'll try and do them in this order right here Leonardo, Raphael, Donatello, Michelangelo, Splinter, Rocksteady, Bebop, Superfly, and Leatherhead and we'll probably put the four baby turtles here even though it shows them here but whatever so look how cool this looks looks great it has all these ex extra accessories right here we're gonna get this open look at this beautiful package look at Leo right here why am I getting out of focus there we are that looks great there's a UPC in case you need it for some reason. And, of course, Playmates Toys. And let's see what it says back here. We'll start off with the write-up for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem. And then we'll skip that and we'll just read this going forward. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Movie.com, Playmates Toys.com. Look at that. New webisodes and more. Huh. So I'm going to have to check that out. Okay, so, for Leonardo, we're going to read this back and it says... Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Teen, uh, mutant Mayhem. Busting out of the New York sewers are four bodacious brothers ready to kick butt. Born from mysterious mutant ooze, these tubular turtles and their radical rat dad have trained in the art of ninjutsu to become a bad guy bashing super team. With their buddy April O'Neil, they're about to face the gnarliest mutants the world has ever seen. Very cool. So here's Leo. Right here, Leonardo. Leonardo, Leo's the leader. Well, he wants to be. He dreams of leading his brothers to become an unstoppable crime-fighting team. So what if no one takes him seriously? Weapons, twin katana, dream to be a fearless leader. All right, we're getting him open. And let's see what we can do without destroying this little package. And I guess we'll open it from this side. And how hard is this gonna be? Medium. Okay, so far so good. Easy does it. Mm. Easy does it. There we go, I guess we'll stop right there. See if we can get under here. Perhaps not. <laughs> Almost there. I'm like, come on. Whew, getting close. Oof. May have done it. But I guess I gotta lift it from here too, so. Last the uh oh. There we go. No! I was like so close! Oh man, I'm messing it up again. But I think we might be able to sneak him out. Oh, Ooh, that was so close. All right, well, I failed in the end, because look, failure. All right, well, learn for the next time. So here we are, Leonardo the leader. And I guess we can just twist these bad boys. I guess we can cut them. Here's this. We want to take all these weapons out. Maybe? Oh man, I didn't mean to rip the whole thing off. I was actually just trying to get it to come out from there. Oh well. <laughs> let's see, let's get his swords out. Let's just cut everything. This is... But where's my little scissors? Those bad boys would really come in handy right about now. Alright, this is gonna take too long. 
Alright. Sorry guys, I promise the next one won't be this crazy. Okay, there we are. And we have his feet here. I don't know if we need all this, but I mean to hold them in place. And here we are. Okay. Very nice. And, well, sorry, Mr. Package, sir. Oof, it's getting worse. There. Just had to tear it. Uh, this was on which side was which? There we go. That was a horrible opening job. Horrible. And I hope the rest of them aren't that bad. But here we go with Leo's. I wonder if they're all gonna be like that. Look at Mikey's. Mikey's is that color? It looks like, well, nope. They all have different weapons. And what about Raph here? It is similar, but not the same. Okay. So, I guess we can stand this up. That's kind of cool. And could have this attached. It's a weapons rack. But, okay. Let's take a look at Leo. Let's get closer over here. Sorry that took so long. But, Leonardo. Definitely digging the head sculpt. Look at that. The head tilts backwards and forwards this much. Be careful here. Even though it's soft plastic, you don't want that to get stuck. Head turns. His head looks slightly different green than the rest of his body. Look at that. The arms come this far up. Spin all the way around pretty well. Obviously it does hit here. There is no waist joint. Um, let's see. The elbows bend. Like this is something. Let's see, you want the elbows to bend. Is it backwards? believe that's how we want it into wow barely past the 45 degree angle let's see we can push it closer to 90 and turn at the wrists like the detail on his belt here is throwing stars let's see the legs they do have a joint that turns them out and can let the legs go up and this is a medium soft plastic so you can push it up a little bit we do have knee joints and ankle joints too bad it doesn't pivot it just turns same thing here so again not quite 90 degree angle we don't have heavy articulation but we do have good articulation it's cool this is here i was like can we pop that off nope but we can definitely put these here Oop. and that looks cool look at that Definitely looks cool. Like the color green. And I think I mentioned this before in the other video, but just turning the feet doesn't do a whole lot for me. I'm I mean I'm glad it has it, but it'd be much cooler if we could kind of tilt them. Because that's what we really needed to help us here. Let's put the swords in his hands. Awesome that we can turn the wrists. And obviously that we have elbow joints. And how do we want to pose this? go so that looks pretty cool he's leaning back leaning back because I can't tilt this foot forward and that's unfortunate I have to lean him right here at the waist but then that gets a little weird. Okay. Well, I'm kind of digging that. So 
So that looks cool. Look at that. Boom. Let's set them aside right here. And look at this little weapons rack. Like, is that an. Did this have ooze in it? And it's like literally oozing out broken canister. Pizza. We have a throwing star, and we have some little, I guess, throwing little daggers here. And then this one. Interesting. So this one was attached right here. I was trying to pop it off, and well, it definitely popped off. But um, anyway, you can definitely replace these. These hands to have little weapons. And let's just get them out. I'm like, why not? Already came this far. Let's see. Oof, we need like nippers to get that. Get this little pizza. We'll leave the throwing star, but we'll take one of these. Take one down, pass it around. And yeah, we can get this off. Let me see if I can find the. Oh, well, that came off. But it wasn't easy. Give me a second. Well. <coughs> Find him! Jeez. Had to move on without him. Alright, whatever. But, let's, get, let's bring him back over here real quick. That looks cool, actually. Alright, and. We got this. Canister, that's what it looks like in relation. This pizza. This, you can't really hold it. This weapon, we can, and then we'll have to nip that off. And same thing here. A little looser than I would have liked, but that'll give you an idea. And there we go. Again, we'll set him aside over here. Let's take a look at the little baby turtle version of him. Look at that. So that's cute. We'll put this right in front of me. And well, we'll have his little weapons rack right here for just this one. I guess we can get the pizza here. That TCRI um, ooze canister or whatever. Good enough. All right, let's move on. And next is Raphael the Angry One. <laughs> Oof, I was like, did it smashed in? Nope, not smashed in. Looks great. Look at that. And Raphael, let's see what it says about him back here. It says, Raphael, Raph likes to break things. In fact, his biggest goal is to punch someone so hard they throw up. But beneath his hard head and tough exterior is a sensitive turtle just looking for someone to talk to. Weapons twin sigh and dream to be a mixed martial arts fighter. Look at that. He's punching his hand. Okay, let's get this bad boy open. And well, we're going to have to try a slightly different technique here. But I'm confident we'll get it. And you can skip forward on this part if it's probably the boringest thing you've ever seen. Wow, that was pretty smooth. I gotta hand it to myself, that was smooth. But here, how come we can't just... Ooh, we sort of did. Cross your fingers. There we go. Okay, so forget about the outside. I'm sorry, the inside is what I meant to say. Why am I stuck? I was like, why am I stuck? I don't know why I'm getting stuck, but I sure am. Okay, well, that looks good enough. And then here.
Oh my gosh. Well, it wasn't great, but it was much better. And we will get him out right here. Wrath. Let's take a quick look at the weapons they have for him here. And, well, these are cool. Look at that. Why are they all wiggly squiggly though? Pizza, throwing stars, TCRI, and then this one has a different shape. It's more of, like it's all chipped. Okay, cool. So we'll toss that back in there. And get rough out through here. There we go. Whoa! I went flying. I know you couldn't see that, but that was cool. Oh my gosh, and then I dropped it. There we are. And he doesn't have all that extra little plastic little tags. So I am grateful for that. There we go. I'm going to spend all our time cutting those. And then the baby turtle. Look at that. Oh, is he any different from the other one? Let's see. Slightly different color. Slightly. Yeah, I guess his head's turned a little bit more. So, there we go. Okay. I'm gonna throw these back in here. And very cool. Set that aside. Like, where did I set it aside? Over here. Good enough. Alright, let's take a look at our Raphael. And Raphael, we can put twin side right here. Well, we have one longer than the other, look at that, on the sides. And different pattern. This plastic is pretty bendy, so we'll just be very mindful of that. Can I put this in here without getting in the way of his arms? Doesn't look like it, look at that. Uh oh. I was like, is his arm backwards? Couldn't tell. But that looks alright. Get closer again. His head. Is that all it tilts? There we go. It tilts back. Decent. Side to side a little bit and turns. Cool. The arms. Cool. A little higher. I was able to push them a little higher than the ones for Don. I'm sorry, for Leo. Let's get these out. Oh my god. I'm flying. And, let's see. His knee joints. What's the deal here? What the deal? There we go. Okay. Not quite 90 degree angle. Oh, I almost popped his, his foot off. Look. But it looks a little looser than normal. Look. Okay, so we do have the legs that do turn, and they have that joint that turns right here and then goes back and forth. Again, this is a medium hard plastic right here, so we can't just do it straight out. But arms turn around pretty well. Smooth enough. Looks like a slightly darker shell than Leo. And otherwise this looks great. Put this in his hand right here. I like that it feels nice and kind of chunky. There we go. There we go. That looks great. And you know, I was kind of liked in 2012 series how he would have like one like holding upside down same thing with Leo with the swords but um anyway looks great put this back over here let's put his legs a little bit and put him right here next to Leo his little baby turtle which we already established is this cute little guy right here 
his head slightly more to the right. So that's how we can tell. Put it right over here. Okay, awesome. That was great. And next, let's go ahead and do Donnie. I meant Donnie. And let's get our camera over here. Let's make sure they're okay, cool. Let's a little higher and look how cool that looks. Great. And he's got headphones, glasses, baby turtle again. And we keep doing this side great, but this one's the one that starts to come unraveled. So, your PC. Let's see what it says here for Donnie. It says, Donatello, Donnie is devastatingly smart and not afraid to let you know it. His intellectual self-assuredness may come across as arrogance, but it's just that his brain is thinking so many steps ahead that he's paralyzed with indecision. Weapons, bow staff. Dream, to become a game developer by day, K-pop star by night. Very cool. Let's get him open. Okay, and look how smooth this side always is. What is up? What is up? Okay, here we go. Oh no. If not what I wanted. Okay. There we are. Can we get this to be every bit as smooth as that side was for some reason? It's looking like it. It's looking like it. Don't know how I made it, but I made it. At this point, it doesn't matter. I mean, I guess it does, but look how smooth that looks. All right, little Donnie. And he doesn't have all those extra random little plastics either. So he has... Wow, look at these as his weapons. I've got this pizza, this one's orange. This one feels, probably just my imagination that it feels more like flexible. Look at this bow staff that's all kind of, again, jagged looking and with a worn out weapon. I guess this is an ooze container, but it's not broken and oozing out. And it's definitely very orange back here, let me, to say the least. Getting Donatello here. Bow staff. Looks like it's slight. I'm like, oof, it looked like a slightly different color, but now I'm not so sure. Maybe it's just the lighting. Okay, here we go, Donnie. You're not driving the vehicle right now. And let's get this little toy to out. Boom. Perfect. Look at that. Awesome. All right, Donnie. Let's see. This turtle doesn't appear to be much different than Leo's. There is a slightly different, uh, slightly different color. Wow, it's so crazy. It's probably the same one, but with a slightly different, more yellowish uh, tint to his color. All right, this one already has the glasses on. That's Come on in closer. Look at that. He tilt his head as far back and forward. His glasses. Ooh, you can take him out. Little hole for a peg right there. He's got a cell phone poking out of his little fanny pack, which has a little place to set it right there. This is probably little supposed to be a little higher. You can put his bow staff right in here. That's cool. And let's see as far as the arms. Wow, the arms go higher than the other guys. Significantly higher. Look at that. Look at his shell. Looks like this detail isn't as deep as on the other ones, but it's still there. Arms come down like that. We can still turn them at the wrists. Can't quite get to a 90 degree angle, but the elbows do turn and go out. Now, wow. Look at that. Donnie would be able to sit. So that's awesome. Couldn't do that with the other turtles, at least not without a struggle. Need 
joints bent almost a 90 degree angle also man so the articulation for this Donny is amazing look at that we can also turn right here at the knees slightly it does restrict it right here but it just turns twists and gives us really great articulation look at that awesome so with this bow staff in his hand look at that we can probably just throw on these earmuff looking headphones and I'm like, well, how are we supposed to get him to stay on? Look, especially with the shape of his head. Look at this dude. Like, there's no way. Can we at least put it on his neck? Ain't looking too good, cuz. I'm like, oof. Can't even. Oh, everything's going wrong now. Oof. All right, so, sorry, I couldn't get the headphones to stay on. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong. You can let me know in the comments what exactly I was doing wrong. And everything else started popping off. So I guess we're just gonna have him holding his headphones, which looks awkward too, I guess. <laughs> but, um, huh, that's weird. I was so sure that they'd stay on his head. So. Here we are. Let's get him to a little stronger stance. And there we go. And Donnie looks great. Look at that. Set him up right here. Get his little turtle and his headphones. Look at that. The turtles are slightly different colors, just like you see right here, they're different colors. That looks great. Okay, let's move on. And we'll go back up again. Perfect. Next is Michelangelo, the entertainer. Michelangelo. Looks great here. Mikey, Splinter, look at this uh, tagging in the back graffiti and yep does look awesome either. so let's see what it says about Mikey back here it says Michelangelo Mikey's the comedian too bad his brothers don't think he's that funny he might not be the best at ninjutsu or waking up on time or even hygiene but you can always count on Mikey's positive attitude weapons Nunchucks and dream to be a stand-up comedian. Chuckle. Okay, so all this looks great. Awesome artwork. We're we're here already, and wow, we still have a little bit of ways to go, which is a great thing. Let's see if we can get this out. And man, this orange is like super popping. So here we go. This right side always goes like swimmingly. Let me not speak too soon. Wow, look at that. And then we get to this part and things go a little, a little wonky. This time we're going to find success. Look at this. Whoa. No. There we are. And here we go. Wow, that was pretty sick. Look at this little baby pizza slice. Look at these. It's two microphones. You see that? TCRI little container. And look at this. I really dig this weapon right here. Which is kind of reminiscent of like the 2012 Turtles where the nunchucks would go and they'd be able to shoot out pretty far with a chain. And then have the, the little blade in the end. Let's get his little, little baby turtle out. This looks like it's the raft one again, but darker green. Probably gonna have to, let's see if we have to cut these out. Cut it out. Looks like we don't have to. Have to. Cool. Boom. Shake the room. And. Here comes this Mikey. Then nice. Uh oh. I didn't see, he does have plastic little ties. Now, oh, whatever. 
was able to just twist them out of it. Dun 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 dun. Okay, that's great. Put this here. Michelangelo. Okay, that's pretty good. This. Oh well. Dun 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 dun. That looks pretty awesome. Actually. Okay, great. Let's get closer to Mikey. And let's see how he's doing here. Okay, the head turns all the way around and tilts. You know, enough. Whoa, up's pretty good. Down, not so much. It's just kind of to the resting spot. These greens are slightly different color. Let's see, turns around pretty well, but wow, it does hit here right away. So um, just be mindful of that when you turn it. His arms go up pretty decent. Again, we have this elbow joint that doesn't quite come to a 90 degree angle. It's like we're barely beating 45 degrees. We turn at the wrists. There's M. We're going to have these go right here. You know, I don't love the way this looks when we have this. So maybe if the shape was a little bit different, but, um, and these aren't really meant to be right next to each other either, even though they designed this part as if it was supposed to. So luckily that still fits. There we go. And there we go. So, okay, well that works well enough. Look at that. The legs come higher up here on Mikey than our first two turtles. Not better than Donnie, but it does come up pretty well. His legs do bend pretty well also. Look at that, the knees, pivots there. Doesn't get stuck like for Donnie either, so it has better knee mobility. You can turn his ankles. And then this joint goes around pretty well. It's not so restricted there. So that's pretty good. And let's see. How do we want these? Do we want this side like this? Or do we want it the opposite where it's like this? I guess one of each, right? So. That looks cool. Let's see about a cool, cooler stance than just that. That'll still work. And then look at our little turtle. He's cool, he's cute. Again, it's probably just the same two molds. And we'll put him right here. Same color as his turtle skin. Look at that. That looks pretty outstanding. And there's the baby turtles. How great that looks. Awesome. Let's do the other one that's left. Well, it's not the other one that's left. It's the first five on the top. The good guys. Here we go. Let's move on. And we'll do this next. I think I keep saying the same thing over and over. But Splinter Master Sensei. How cool that looks. Let's bring this up higher. Again, while we get it open. That looks awesome. And there we are. Look at this beautiful artwork. And there we are. We still have our graffiti in the back. Splinter. Here we are. Okay, so let's see what it says. It says Splinter, Rat Dead slash Sensei. Splinter is coping with the fact that his four sons are growing up. He's made a wonderful sewer home for his family, but now his sons need independence and New York needs his sons. Walking stick, sword, his weapon, and dream to protect his sons from being milked. <laughs> All right, here we go. Getting slightly better at this. I want to say slightly, Ugh, barely. Ever so slightly. All right, here we go. Here we go. And ooh, why is this one so smooth? And I don't want to speak too soon. Again. Look at that. Ah, uh, for once it just it was smooth. Ooh, interesting. Look at this. 
Ooh, this one has a little nut. I wonder if... Yeah, no, that didn't do anything. <laughs> Cut this around right here. And that looks great. Ooh, I knocked his glasses off on accident. It's like ripped them off. Here's this cool little guy. And wow, look at his weapons. He's even got, looks like a, a bow right, I'm sorry, like for bow and arrow, B-O-W. We have the arrows right here. And that's cool, look at those weapons. I'm throwing stars. I'll put this back in here. Nice. Then nice. Okay. Let's come on closer. We'll throw his glasses right here. Look at that. That's cool. Oh, they actually go in there. I'm like, there's holes in the back of his head right here. Okay, his head only tilts, it looks like, as far as it's spinning around. I'm sorry, spins, doesn't tilt. Arms only go up this high. They do turn around, but this is really tough plastic here. So it doesn't push that up at all. We have an elbow joint that does bend and turn. The wrist joints turn. Same thing on this one. So there, um, no joint at the waist. This is a softer plastic than this is. The tail moves back and forth like that. And as far as the legs, it should be still a similar joint, but we twist this and we can maybe go forward and backward so that it's correct. Cool. But no knee joint and we can only turn the feet. Okay, that's all right. We'll use this tail to help prop us up so we don't fall. If we can get it to work. There we go. And let's see his little cane sword deal. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Look at that. That's awesome. All right. I wonder if we can just put this in his hand and have him using it. Look at that. So that's pretty cool. As far as his um, head sculpt, looks pretty good. Digging the colors. Um, pretty good job with the splinter. Looks pretty awesome. Look at that. And I love the fact it was Jackie Chan. Let's go ahead and move this right here. I'm like, oh, he's leaning off the, a whole lot to the side. I'm like, can we get him to lean the other way? <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> so, like, what did I do wrong? I guess he's just leaning that way. I'm like, maybe we can have him. Hmm. Like, interesting. Is one leg slightly longer than the other? I guess so. All right, there we go. Cool. Look at that. That looks great. Okay. So, let's go ahead and move on. All right, let's go ahead and do Turtle Tots, Leo and Donnie. Bring this up here. And look how great that looks. This is one that's going to be available only at Target. The making of a ninja. Look how cool they look. Leo and Donnie. I'm sure you can guess which is which. And I like how they just jammed them in over here in between Splinter and Michelangelo, which does make a lot of sense. So, over here it says, Turtle Tot Leo. Leo was born to lead. He dreams of leading his brothers to become an unstoppable crime-fighting team but he's got a long way to go before he can call the shots. When I grow up, future leader. Favorite color, blue. And also Turtle Tot Donnie. 
Donnie was born brilliant. When his brother's adventures get the boys in trouble, it's Donnie's brains and bright ideas that save the day. When I grew up, future genius. Favorite color? Purple. I'm sure we could guess, could have guessed all that. All right. Let's get this open. There we go. That one was almost disaster and then wasn't. I'm happy about that. Cool. Now here we go. Let's see if we can keep our streak going. Streak intact. Alright. This one does have little, little dilly bops right here. And we will get this out from over here. here. So that's cute. These little weapons. And let's get Donnie also out. Okay, cool. Pop him out. Like, come on, Donnie. Let go. Let go, Donnie. Let go. There we are. I was like, you gotta let go, Donnie. You gotta let go, buddy. Same here. We'll get this out here. Okay, perfect. Leo and Donnie. Take two. <laughs> here we are. And, well, our Leo looks great. It was, let's see, his head turns and kind of barely. It does pivot around slightly, but it's just so big. Look at that, that it hits all sides. It does turn, you can see that, but it is kind of chunky, hard to turn. Uh, he does turn here at the waist, probably because it can't turn his legs, but we can turn the waist a little bit. You know, it looks a little awkward when it's misaligned, but hey, at least it turns better than nothing. And then his uh, shoulders, they do turn, and they have one joint to go up and down besides around. Look at that. Cool. Look at his eyes. All right, cool. So look at his swords. Little homemade little style. Is one longer than the other? Sure is. Okay, cool. So we can just fit this. This fits nice and snug in his hand. And this one, same thing. So maybe we'll switch those since this one has his arm. Like, this one will go more in the air up. Then we can stick out less. Look at that. That does look cool. And that does look awesome. I'm loving it. Okay, set them right here. And let's look at our Donnie. Looks like these glasses do come off also. Could probably pop that out, rather not. So his shoulders also, up and down and around. No other articulation for the arms, and again, the waist does turn. Look at that. Hmm. As far as the head, it just tilt and pivot a little bit. It's also chunky, so to turn it around, it's kind of a little bit tougher. Let's get his bow staff and put it right here in his hand. Look at that. That's cute. Looks like this hand isn't made to hold it, so. Just so you know, that looks cute. 
And there we are. Let's put them in front of Splinter. That's cute. Maybe we can move Splinter a little bit. There we go. I'm like, hmm. Maybe, maybe not. Look at that. <laughs> okay, cool. Let's go ahead and move on. Next. And next is where we have our Turtle Tots, Raph and Mikey. Move up here, take a look down, and look how great this looks. Another Target exclusive. Look how cute. We got Raph and Mikey. And Raph's little, little cute little gordito. And, well, here we are. Let's see what it says back here about Turtle Tot Raph. Raph was born to bash. From a young age, Raph loved to break things. But he's got to keep training if he wants to achieve his dream of punching someone so hard they throw up. When I grow up, future fighter. Favorite color, red. And turtle tot Mikey. Mikey was born funny. As a tot, he made growing pains a little less painful. Finding the humor in anything and bringing joy to his brothers and rat dad splinter. When I grew up, future prankster, and favorite color, orange. Yeah, I guess we, why not? We had a little fun. So, here we are. And, oof, this one actually went a little unhinged. So let me take a second here, uh-oh. Okay, that'll still work. Great. Okay. Here we are. And let's get these guys out. Perfect. And let's see what about that. What side do we need this to come off of? This side or that? I guess let's try this one first. Oh yeah, very cool. All right. Whoa! I just shot out of there. It picked me up with its mind powers and shook me like a dog. Hey, I was like, come on, little buddy. Same thing here, same thing here, and let's pop you on out. Boom! That's great. There we go. Very cool. Set that aside. Man, all the way over there. Oof, that was some dust bunnies. All right, great. Let's see, we got Mikey right here. Mike looks cute. Um, he's got less shell to get stuck here. His head does pivot and turn a little bit easier than the other guys. Arms do go around, goes up and down here, and then around. Same thing with this arm, look at that. And then we can turn it here at the waist. So that looks cool. And look at these nunchucks. Pop this right in here. Wow, this hand is a little tough. Interesting. It's a little tough to pop that sucker in there. We have to spin it as we push. Or I can pry it open, which is interesting. I don't think we're going to have to do that. Ah, we make it in time. Oof! I really had to push that sucker in there. Oh, and it still popped out! I'm like, no! Okay, that looks cute. Look at that. 
Yeah, I do like that. Great. And then we have Raphael. Oh, come on. There we go. I don't want to crack the arm off, but it wasn't wasn't working with me. Same thing here. Like, there we go. I want to crack the arm off. But, oof. It's still not getting any easier. Okay. I can turn it here at the waist. There we are. I like how this kind of goes down to make room for his jaw and his chin. His head only moves ever so slightly, but his um, back and forth, but his head does turn all the way around. There we are. <laughs> Look at his toes. All right, let's get these little weapons in here his hands. Let's turn them like that. Otherwise, for that hand, it'll pop out. But for this one, not so much. There we go. Look at that. That's cute. I do like the way these look. Let's put Mikey right here. Let's put Raph here, or maybe Raph in the front. Mikey right here. That's cute. Look at that. So yeah. Okay. Man. How many have we done so far? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we're not even counting those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I missed Splinter a second ago. Nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Cool, let's move on. Perfect, so now that we've done our good guys here, and well, technically, if you've seen the movie, it is different, they changed the story. But in any event, we did our really awesome good guys there. Now we're gonna start with the bottom figures here, which I was led to believe before the movie started, just like in the older cartoons and so on, that this would be the bad crew. And I guess, you know, perhaps, but there's a twist. And it has to do with being brothers. So let's see what it says here for Rocksteady. It says, Rocksteady. Built like a tank, Rocksteady is pure mutant muscle. Whether it's from his fists or his horn, you do not want to take a hit from this guy. He and Bebop make a dangerous duo, but their brains are are what some may consider small even for morons. Mutant Menace Meter 3. Interesting. Let's get him open. Okay. Oh, that didn't work out as planned. This isn't working out as planned. So let me be very cautious here. Cautious, cautious. Woo! Okay, that was pleasing. Okay, we got this right here. Perfect. And then, what in the world? Let the pop an arm in. Didn't even notice that. So, okay. my pleasure. Here we are. There's a weapon. And well, it's kind of cool. We have weapons reminiscent of uh, the old turtles. Well, the 1980s turtles, what I meant to say. And of course, those were Playmates figures, so it only makes sense. Ah. I said, how am I going to get this out of here? Oh, and it's got like a little sledge here. So that's cool. Alright, pop them on out. Got this gun right here. That's cool. And all we gotta do is pop this sucker in here. So we'll do the old twisty twist. Wow, look at that. That is a huge head. And it only swivels from left to right. So no up down. Let's see the arms. It's got one sleeve. <laughs> and like, there we go. I had to push it all the way in. There we go. 
Okay, so the arm does turn all the way around still. Look at that. Comes up almost to a 90 degree angle on that side, and this one, nowhere near. <laughs> it does bend at the elbow, so that's cool. Look at that. Interesting little. Those are supposed to be his arm hairs. His wrist does turn. You heard that had to snap first. Same here. Elbows come in that much. Look at his stomach. Legs come, wow, basically a 90 degree angle forward. Not quite a 90 degree angle down, but look at his little, little legs. And then we can twist them out, so that's cool. Let's get him to stand up. And big chunky boots, I like that. And let's see if he can stand on his own with having his head looking like that. I guess he can. All right, well, that'll work for me. What about when he's extending his gun? So that looks cool. He's even got his little silver tooth or whatever. But man, that looks crazy. Got this other gun. He's got a little shield here. That sledge. I am digging those weapons. That is cool. Okay, let's set him up over here. So that looks crazy. Okay, great. Put this here. And let's go ahead and move on. Oop, my glasses. <laughs> okay. And next we have Bebop. Go up higher so we can see, and then bring it on in close. Bebop jacked up Warthog. Did we even read that it said Rocksteady Mutant Muscle? Hope so. There we are. And let's see what it says about Bebop. So, Bebop. Bebop may be a jacked up warthog mutant, but he likes to roll in style. He's always sporting some killer shades and is never too far from a boombox. Mutant Menace Meter 3. Alright, cool. Here we are. Let's see what we can do about this. Much better. Okay. Much better ish. <laughs> oh, this one feels like butter. Woo! Right, I'm gonna roll with that one. Let me show you this. Cool. You got to remind me, is this the one that's uh, Seth Rogen? Here we are. You know who wrote and imagined this iteration. Not here. Very cool. And wow, this little drill gun reimagined. Let's cut this out. That's cool. Again, reminiscent of the old ones. So the other one was a yeah. so the trash can lid. The other one was a manhole cover. And very cool. These weapons, they are reminiscent of the original figures. So that's cool. Toss this down there. Let's see what we got. So for Bebop, look at his little legs. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Then there we go. I mean, what's that? 45 degrees maybe. We can turn them there. They go out and around. Look at his belly button piercing. It definitely has um, these shoulder pads that are made of turtle shells. So. It restricts some of the movement here, but the arm does move pretty well. Look at that. I'm digging the colors, the head. Does it go back and forth? No, unfortunately not. That's too bad, because it has the opportunity to go up and down, but it doesn't. Look at the head sculpt. 
Look at that wrinkly jowls. <laughs> I'm digging the glasses, I'm digging the hair. Look at that. We do have a really cool chunky elbow um, joint. His wrist turn. Colors look great. Look at that tattoo on his chest. He's got a little tail. Um, it's not painted, so you can't really tell right away. And these little feet. Is he going to be able to stand with these little feet? I guess so. Or, for the most part, let's see about his weapon here. So that's cool. Look at that. Well, he stands. So I got to give him credit for that. That looks pretty cool. Look at that. Not bad, chiquitos. Not bad. Wow! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. He's got three more. Cool. Alright. So here. And next, we have our villain here, which is Superfly, Fly Guy. Look at this. So that looks cool. And, well, here's the UPC. This is how you have to pop in the wings back there. So here we are. Done all this, getting to here. And these last two right here before we get the Super Mutant. So, Superfly, a highly intelligent humanoid fly. Superfly has lived in hiding his entire life, slowly amassing power in the criminal underworld. He's clever, charismatic, and confident. And behind those eyes lies a sinister plan that is unlike anything the turtles have faced before. Mutant Menace Meter 5, where the other dudes were 3. So... Let's get him open. There we are. Ooh, this one feels little. There we go. It started going underneath. Luckily, that was the end of the line right there. And here we go. Moment of truth. No, it's not starting off great. Listen to that. Whew. That was close. All right. Let's see what we can do here. Oh, that was pretty easy. Pretty easy. Get his weapon out here. Get his wing out here. Get his wings out from here. I guess let's put those. Look at these weapons. They're like the Baxter Stockman weapons here. So, we're what would have been included with Baxter Stockman when... Because in this world, Baxter Stockman would never became a fly. But here we are. His son did. And well, they put his weapon here as an homage. There we go. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle movie Superfly. Come on, there we go. Getting close. All right, so we're gonna pop this right in. Let's see if this is supposed to be like this. Then this goes in here. Wow, his wings are bigger than I thought they were gonna be. I'm like, okay. Making sure I have it the right way. Well, this one's showing the wings down. So, but, okay, I guess we'll put them like that. Oh, it has a very specific shape here, though. So let's make sure that we put it the way it's supposed to be. Yep, there we go. Look at these little feet. I wonder if we're going to be able to get them to stand. 
especially with how heavy this arm is. This arm is like sick heavy. Okay. Wow. The best head articulation of all of them so far. You can turn all the way around and it pivots up and down. It has a really thick, chunky joint there. Look at that. This arm kind of got that rock steady thing going. Goes around nice and smooth. We do have a elbow joint that does turn. Look at that. These are just soft plastic. Don't crack them off. Doesn't look like they turn. And then this joint right here. Wow, look at that. Actually moves pretty well. Turns. We don't have an elbow joint, but we do turn at the wrist here. We might need this to like help support him walking. Because look, his legs come this far forward, this far back. We do have knee joints that bend and tilt. And look at this, going right through his shoe here. Look at his little tie or whatever here. Hmm. His torn or, uh, green shirt. Well, I'm really liking the mold on this figure. Look at his gun. He's got here. I guess we can have him hold it here. Oh man, this is a soft plastic gun. Look at that. Okay, perfect. So let's see if we can get him to stand. And what we're going to want to do is leverage this as like a heel if we can. And then, oops, and then have him lean on this arm, I guess. Well, that didn't work quite like I had hoped. Oof. Not like I had hoped. Okay, well he's standing right now. Let's see for how long. This one's the hardest one to stand out of them all. But we'll go ahead and put him right here. Oof. So I lean forward. So that works. And we sort of ran out of room. So we're gonna need to make room for one more dude here. Well, one more of our uh, action figures, because this one was different in this iteration of Turtles. So Let's get that one out. And that's gonna happen to be Leatherhead. So, here we are. Very cool, look at that. And so Leatherhead, Ragin' Cajun Gator. Looks cool, look at that weapon. Oops, slipped right out of my hands. And here's everybody, and it says Leatherhead. Leatherhead is proud to be a mutant and all in on Superfly's plan to make more of them. They are down for causing destruction and mayhem, especially if it means getting to make a few big bombas. Very cool. I'm going to be like, you didn't say that right. Hmm, did I do it on purpose or not? Here we go. Let's get this bad boy out through here. That went well. This is going well. Don't get overconfident. Don't get cocky. But that went very well. Okay. Very cool. And our leather head. There we and well. Let's twist this around. Twist this around. And very cool. Look at the weapons here. Those are kind of different and unique. I'm thinking, what do the ones look like from Leatherhead, the action figure from the 80s and early 90s? But hmm. just have to check. And they re released them, so. Raging Cajun Gator. Very cool. And this one has some great level of detail on it. Okay. 
So let's turn the tail out first and foremost. Look at his little legs. <laughs> All right, we got a knee joint. Wow, look at that. And the foot actually does turn and um, at least pivots up and down. Look at that. So that's interesting articulation. It's very different from the other ones. This one, the boot. It moves, so that's interesting. It can help support, despite the little legs, with this tail, which does move back and forth and turns. So that's cool. Oh, arms backwards. Okay. The head does go back and forth slightly. Too bad we can't open the mouth. That would have been fun. It's great detail on this figure. Too bad I can't remove these, but I guess it's really supposed to be that way. We can twist the head that way. Go back and forth. The arms do go up more than I thought. Look, almost to 90 degrees. In almost to 90 degrees. And, oh, can do the robot. <laughs> and turn right here at the wrists. Very cool. Okay, so it's gonna stand pretty well, look at that. You can put this little, I guess, shotgun here, or no, but there we go. I don't know what kind of gun that is, but it could be. It's definitely double-barreled. Look at this. So that's cool. Put, but this is really soft plastic, look at that. Just be mindful of that. And there we go. Which looks really cool, actually. I'm actually really liking how this figure looks. It looks pretty cool. I guess we can move everybody. And have a better setup here. I guess we can move this. Move this here. And, hmm, I guess if we move the turtles, Donnie, Raph, Mikey, Leo, Splinter, and we can put, there we go, right there. Not bad. Let's see if we can move this up higher. Look at that. I'm like, that help? that make it worse? Where's this one lower? There we go. And super fly. Okay, cool. So let me move all this stuff because we're going to need some room now. That looks pretty great. turtles here. Well, I guess technically our 12 turtles. <laughs> we have the little baby ones plus these young ones. Look at that. That looks awesome. Okay. Probably the action figure you've all been waiting for out of all the ones from the single series. And yes, don't I know it. This is what you've been waiting for. And now I misplaced it. Here it is. Mm -hmm. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> the Mega Mutant. And this Mega Mutant is colossal. It's huge. This one, I got it. Walmart. Look at that mutation station. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem. And the Mega Mutant. Wow, that looks crazy. Movable Mega Mouth. That's what the side looks like. Here's what this side looks like. And let's look at the back. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Look at this sick looking artwork right here. Like, what is that, a giraffe? Elephant. Um, ostrich. Squid. Horses. I'm like, wow. Monkeys. Narwhal. All right. And let's look at the bottom real quick. We'll get this open. There's that. There's this. We gotta pop the arm on. Pop the back wings on. Back of figure. Wow, it's cool. It's like someone just sketched it and then just wrote it with a inky pen. Very awesome. Okay. So it says T 
Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the Mega Mutant. When Superfly and his devious mutant making device fall into the Hudson River, what comes out is something the turtles could not have uh, never predicted. <laughs> okay, let me read that again. What comes out is something the turtles could have never predicted. He transforms into Mega Mutant, a combination of the Hudson's many underwater critters and any other animal he encounters. Wow, that looks crazy. And look at the whale body also. So I'm like, what's this? Oof. Nah, that looks crazy. All right. Let's get him out of here. Of this package and see what we got going on. Wow. Okay, well, how do I want to open this to make it easiest? Hmm. Like, mm, I guess we'll do it here. We'll start here. Let's take this part back up. If we want, which we might not want. Or we just cut all that up. So what would we like to do? Just cut it out. Yeah, let's just cut it. Why not? Once I cut, I can't come back. On the foot. So, didn't see that one. It's making funny sounds. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Sorry, that was hard to do. I have to kind of like close my eyes and wish for it to happen. <laughs> That would mess everything up. Wow, it's massive. Okay. We have this arm. Some tight little rope here. A little mini rope. And then this. How can we... Okay, let's see. I guess if I cut this, then we'll all be fine and dandy. There we are. Oof. Not quite what I hoped for. Like that. Okay. Oh, we have more tape. Okay. Very cool. And there we are. Great. I'm pretty sure that's all of it. And then we just gotta pop the arm on. And, uh, the wings in the back. So, oh man, this dude is huge. And just, we'll figure this out. Look at that. <laughs> this arm goes here. That's oh, there we go. Twist that in. And then this arm. Wow. Look at that face. That's so crazy. And obviously these are his feet and they turn, but why turn? Because it's like, doesn't really do much for it. But okay, sure. 
Um, the legs only go back and forth, like they come back and forth this much, but they don't go out. And it doesn't look like there's any sort of knee joint. So just back and forth. Tail does turn and has a joint to go back and forth. Look at that. Okay, the mouth. I'm like, I guess I just pull it down, right? Just be careful here, you don't rip this off or this off. Is there any other way to open or close it? Just other than pulling it? Guess not. Look at this elephant head. Has his nose. Got this squid or octopus rocking right there. This giraffe head. Look at that. Wow. This whale. The horses. This is a crazy looking action figure. And look at that. So, let's see how we're going to get this bad boy to stand. Putting the arm down like this. Have his legs like this, and I guess we just balance them. Look at this arm right here. We can go back and forth and around. We can turn here at the wrist, but these fingers don't move at all. These little narwhals or whatever they are. That looks crazy. Look at this arm. Comes all the way back, turns, and turns here at the wrist, even though we don't have an elbow. And that looks pretty crazy. Look at that. I thought this was going to be more like straight on. And look at this little, this showing here. But it still looks pretty outstanding. Alright, let's get his wings here. So we're going to match them up. I'm thinking that goes there. I'm thinking. Probably goes here. This little one is shaped like. Let me put that one last. This one is shaped like what appears to be that. This one has this weird, crazy shape right here. So that means process of elimination. That's this one here. Now look at that. Oh my gosh. This is a sick action figure. Oh my Look at that. <whistles> Guys, what do you think now? Oh, let's get everything set up so that we can have not just them standing here in the background, but let's include everybody. But what a sick looking action figure. Looks awesome. Okay, let me get everybody set up. All right, friends, what do you think of this? Look how incredible these action figures look. Finally, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, plus the little baby turtles. So this looks unbelievably amazing. There's three versions of turtles right there. Master Splinter, or Mega Mutant, Rocksteady and Bebop, Superfly, and we have uh, Leatherhead. I was like, oh, tip of my tongue. So guys, I want to thank you for hanging out with us here today. And I want to ask you, if you have not already subscribed, please hit the subscribe button below. Hit the notification bell next to so you notified every time I have a new video come out. Talk to us in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. Let us know what you think of these incredible Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem action figures. Give us a big thumbs up and share it with anybody who you think would enjoy it. And check back on our YouTube channel for more great videos like this and the other turtle figures that we're going to open including this so let's let's get these all open so thank you guys check back on your youtube channel soon and check for any links below in this description and we'll be seeing you soon thanks for watching vincent gd super channel g peace